the the uh, some called guns in parks bill that allows uh, gun permit holders essentially to go in any park in the state. We'll, and uh, right now we have provision that allows counties and cities an opt out. This would do away with that. It'd make it uniform all over the the state. Is there a amendment tra or with this bill, Mr. Chairman? We have an amendment. The drafting code is 3862, and essentially what this does, it removes the fiscal note as far as uh, people having to remove the signage. Any further discussion on the amendment? Hearing none, we're going to be voting on amendment number one to House Bill 995. All in favor say aye. All opposed say no. The bill carries. The amendment goes on. Chairman, you're recognized on House Bill 995. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I'd like to recognize again uh, Representative Goins. Do you have remarks? Proceed, sir. Thank you, Mr. Chairman and Vice Chairman. House Bill 995 does exactly as Chairman Harrison said. It brings much needed uniformity to this state. Very well. Is there any discussion on House Bill 995? Chairman, excuse me, Leader Fitzhugh, you're recognized, sir. Thank you, Mr. Uh, Chairman. And uh, so we, what we're doing by this is we're 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 uh, using uniformity as the as the key, rather than the ability of the uh, those that are closest to the people to govern the p particular process. That being the ones that own the park and control the parks of the uh, cities and counties. Uh, we're sort of trading that out for uh, for uniformity. Yes. Thank you. Any further discussion on the bill? Okay. Representative Armstrong, you're recognized. Sir. Well, I didn't know where law enforcement or where, you know, the TBI or Highway Patrol or TWRA or any of those folks where they stand on this because they're the ones that are going to be burdened with, uh, you know, trying to enforce and, and, and deal. I don't see of them, any of them present. I think it's important that we hear from them. And in, in with respect, Representative, I would contest that the ones that I represent up here are those constituents who are burdened with uni ununiform laws across the state and are burdened by having a carry permit and not able to enforce it in those things. While I do represent some TWRA, Department of Safety people in my district, this bill is intended to fix a problem or an oversight with some folks who are a much larger portion of my district. Well, certainly in, you know, the city of Knoxville uh, is not in support at all. The chief of police, uh, all are against this, uh, uh, this particular piece of legislation. Uh, I think that when you've got a park that city tax dollars are paying for or county tax dollars, and then we come in and preempt, uh, which is more important, their property rights or, or gun rights, and particularly when you talk about the state has no kind of uh, commitment or no type of contribution toward the city and uh, county parks, uh, that we should be uh, telling them exactly uh, whether imposing these rules on them certainly uh, is overreaching uh, of, of our authority. Uh, we complain about the federal government preempting state. And here we are preempting local government. Let local government run local government. And let us run, I could see talking about state parks, but when we talk about city parks, remember that's city council money and those are those municipalities all across. Let them determine. Let them make the decision. And so this is preemption in its highest form. Thank you for your More comments. Taken. Well, Representative Todd, you're recognized. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. And to clarify some issues, at state parks, we've already passed that uh, as far as being allowed to carry the weapons in state parks. What we didn't do when, with regards to state parks at that particular time was that we didn't remove the signage because that had a fiscal note on it, so the signs were left up. So. Uh, folks didn't know where they could carry in a state park or not a state park. The laws are mismatched all through the states, and 
I would like to say that the uh, people who pay the taxes in the, in the municipalities are the property right owners of the park. So uh, everybody has a right. A lot of the parks throughout the state of Tennessee and your local parks do not have the signage up. There's many entrances to them. So people don't know where they can carry it or not carry uh, based on uh, the, a lot of entrances into the parks in our local communities and local areas. And this was you know, done years ago. And, and, and like you said, and Mr. Representative Gowen said, it is a mismatch in the state of Tennessee right now. And uh, you know, it's time that we tried to look at some uniformity with regards to this. So I can't call for the question now, but I would. The question has been called for. Is there an objection to the question? Seeing none, we're going to be voting on House Bill 995. There's an objection. Is there another objection? There's two objections. Well, previously the question had been called for, and I, I actually let one more person talk about it than I should have. My apologies, gentlemen and ladies. Uh, the question has been called for. We're going to be voting on House Bill 995 to go to full finance. All in favor say aye. aye. All opposed say no. The ayes have it. Bill goes to full finance.